As usual, I've saved the best to last. This is our first look at the Bungle Bungles. Now, those plane loads of tourists the other day were flying out just to see the sunrise on these. I believe that within five years, these will rate with our best tourist attractions, our Kakadu National Park, our Barrier Reef, our Ears Rock. And if you can imagine, 10 Ears Rocks, 100 Olgas, 1,000 Palm Valleys, that gives you some idea of what these are all about. Some people have called this the lost world of the Bungle Bungle, but that's not strictly true. It would be more accurate to say that in the last few years, the Bungle Bungle has been rediscovered. This is the country where the Ord River rises. For most of the year, these creeks are dry, but when they flow, they flow in torrents. And it's that water flow over the countless millions of years that has carved and shaped the bungles. This is a very ancient sandstone plateau and it covers 700 square kilometres and its outer edges are these extraordinary beehive domes. They say the bungle domes are the most spectacular example of this type of formation on the earth. In places, deep ravines cut into the very heart of the massif. Some of those canyons are so steep and narrow that they never see daylight. A little safety tip for anybody contemplating coming in by road to the Bungle Bungles. I suggest you need a four-wheel drive with a good ground clearance. I've travelled about 60 kilometres from the main road on a dusty rough road and it's taken me roughly five hours so that'll give you some idea of how rough this track is in here but when I get in right it's really worth it marvelous but from here on the only way I'm going to see this country is by foot I want to show you something before I move from this little spot here. These are a very special palm. I call them freshwater river palms. I forgot the technical name, but the only other place I've ever seen them is in Kings Canyon on the way from Alice Springs to Ayers Rock. And as far as I know, they're completely unique to this area in the whole Kimberleys. In fact, I don't think you find them anywhere else in the world. Very, very special palm. This is a very typical example of the beehive domes of the Bungle Bungles. It's the striping effect, really, that makes the domes so remarkable. Underneath all this rock is sandstone. The dark stripes aren't rock, but a build-up of silicon and algae that grows on them in the wet season. This same water action leaches out most of the minerals in the sandstone, and combined with the wind erosion, breaks down the sandstone into sand. 
That's why these rock faces, which really look so tough, are in fact so fragile. In places, they crumble to the touch. This is the best representation of these of anywhere in the world, and I'm proud of that. When you come into a place like this, you get an unusual feeling. I feel as if I'm an explorer. In fact, I feel that I'm the only person that's ever walked in here. Of course, that's ridiculous. But do you remember when I said to you, 10 Ayers rocks, 100 Olgas, or 1,000 Palm Valleys? You can add to that 20 Stanley Chasms, because that is what this is all about. Remember when I was talking to you about the beehives, about the sandstone and the conglomerate. Now here is a very fine example of that conglomerate. In fact, this whole gorge is mainly conglomerate, which is the ancient riverbed gravel, all solidified together. This is the Cycad palm, one of the very rare jewels of the Kimberley. At one time, the whole Kimberley area was covered in rainforests containing these. Why it's so special? It dates back to the time of the dinosaurs, over 170 million years ago. Today, just found in a few isolated pockets. Now, I apologise for having to bring sex into this, but if you have a look here, you see the female, and this is the flower. And if you look closely, it seems as if it's laden with eggs, just waiting to be fertilised by the male. Very good specimens of Aboriginal art. Now, I find this extremely interesting, because as an artist, I can see the value in it. When I look at these crocodiles, and another particular one down here, is an octopus-type creature or it appears to be an octopus. Now, there was no sea here, that the sea's a long way away. And uh, it makes me wonder if uh, probably one of their relations come to visit, and uh, he said, look, I'll show you what I do, and showed them an octopus. That could have happened. Uh, the crocodiles, possibly, uh, the Ord River's only, say, 40 kilometres over here, they would have seen them there, which again indicates to me that it was possibly nomadic uh, group of Aborigines moving around the edge of the bundles to a new campsite. There's another little interesting thing down here. There's a paintings of hands, but they're very, very small. I think they were children. Possibly, uh, while Dad was doing these, uh, they've put up their hands and done some of their own. Uh, probably all budding artists, I'd think. Want some more? We want some more down here, see? 
Budding young artists who live in the district today are no longer roaming nomads, but they live permanently in a place called Turkey Creek, not far from the Bungle Bungles. Sister, what did you used to do before you... And what is different about this school is that it is run not by the public school teachers, but by the elders of the community, helped by the Sisters of St. Joseph. What do you think of that? Do you think I've messed your painting up, eh? Do you think I've messed it up? What do you think? It's good. Oh, hell. I reckon you're all right, too. Not only are they being taught the Australian school system, but also to retain and understand more of their ancient culture. As I'm travelling around the Bungle Bungles, and especially before sunset, the urge for me to get my paintbrush out is often too hard to resist. And when I see scenery like this, I've just got to stop and do something about it. I could paint it here for 12 months or more. This is a painter's paradise. Now look, you have a look around while I get on with it. What did you think? I promised you when I brought you in here that I was going to show you some of the jewels of the Kimberley. Now I think I've done that. I have no doubt in my mind which is the best one. But what do you think about it all? See you next time.